LazyKit gives you a really nice, simple, and easy to use interface that you can learn quickly and can make your life a lot easier when working with Git on the terminal. It also integrates really well with NeoVim, which is something that I was especially looking for. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get started with LazyKit, how you should approach using it, and how I've integrated it into my own workflow so you can start using it too. I've been using it for a couple of months now, and I think this tool is really amazing. With that said, Let's get started. All right, so to get started with LazyGit, you need to install it first. If you're on a Mac like me, you can use Homebrew. You can do something like brew install LazyGit. But actually, instead of this, it's recommended you do the following instead to get the version that receives the most frequent updates. If you're on a Linux or a Windows machine, I recommend you take a look at the official LazyGit repository and take a look at the installation instructions for your system. After you're done installing it, you can do lazy git dash dash version to check if everything looks good. Now, as you can see here, I've navigated to a repository. This is my Svelte Git blog, which I use to make blog posts for the channel. And I'm currently on the main branch. Once you've navigated to a repository, you can do lazy git and press enter and that'll open it up. The LazyGit UI will allow you to see a lot of useful information about your repository, and it provides a lot of really useful ways to interact with it. Now, as you can see here, we have a couple of different panes on the left-hand side that each have their own number. Each of these panes show something different and have a different purpose, and you can navigate through them by either typing that number or using the tab key. If I use tab, I'll go forwards, and if I use shift tab, you'll go backwards. If I wanna go directly to the commit pane, for example, then I can press four. And if I want to go back to files, I'll press two. Now each pane has several different tabs. To navigate through these, you can use closing bracket to go forwards and opening bracket to go backwards. Now I'm going to exit LazyGit with control C and I'm going to open this project with NeoVim to make a change. I'm going to do NVim and press enter. I'm going to look for a layout.svelte file and I'm just going to add a console.log here that says hello there and save. And I'm going to close NeoVim with colon Q and enter and open up LazyGit again. Now you'll see that this layout.spelt file has a modification. That's why it has an M next to it. Within a pane here, you can navigate with your down and up arrows or J and K just like in Vim or NeoVim. On the right hand side, we can see the modification that we made to the file. If you wanna scroll through this main panel that shows the modification, you can do page down and page up on your keyboard. You can also scroll with your mouse. Now let's say I want to stage this change. If you ever wanna see the available key maps you can use, you can use the question mark. And this will show you all of the different key bindings for the pane you're currently in. If you wanna filter through these, you can use the forward slash slash like in Vim or NeoVim and I want to stage so I'm going to look for stage. Nice so you can see here we need to use the space key. If you want to exit this search mode you can press escape and I'm going to do escape again to close this window. So as you saw we can press space and stage our change. If you want to unstage it you can press space again. I'm going to do control C to close LazyGit again. Open up NeoVim. And I'm gonna look for a different file. I'm gonna look for page.svelte and add another console.log here. Hi, and comment out one of these tags. Again, I'm gonna save this, close NeoVim and open LazyGit. And you can see now that we have two different files that have been changed. Again, I'm navigating through these with J and K. Now let's say that instead of wanting to stage a single file, by pressing space, you want to stage all of the changes. Again, we can do question mark, and down here you'll see that with the A key, we can stage all. I'm gonna press A, and that'll stage all of my changes. If I do A again, then it'll undo that. Now let's say you wanna stage a specific hunk or change you made. When you're over a file, you can press enter, and that'll open up this split view where you can see the currently unstaged changes on the left and the staged changes on the right. Now in this view, I can go to the specific line we want to stage and press space and space again. And if you want to undo that, you can press tab to go to the right hand side and press space to unstage and space again. Now to get out of this, you can do escape. Now once you've staged some changes, let's do A to stage all, you can press 
C to create a commit. I'm just gonna type here an example commit. If you wanna add a description, you can press tab, a description for my example commit, and then press tab again to go back to the commit summary, and then you can press enter to commit those changes. Now, if you go to the commits pane by pressing four, you can see the commit we just made. And again, we can scroll through the contents of this main panel with page down and page up. Now, let's say you want to push these changes to your remote. Again, I'm gonna do question mark, forward slash, and look for push. So as you can see here, you can use capital P to push. I used escape to get out of that, and now I can press capital P, and that'll push my changes to the remote main branch. Pane three here that shows my branches, the one with the star is the one you're currently in. If you want to switch to a different branch, let's say I wanna to go to this video courses branch, I can use J to go down, or your down arrow, and press space. I'm gonna go back to main with J and space. Now let's say you want to create a new branch. Then let's do question mark, forward slash, and look for branch. And as you can see here, we can use N to create a new branch. I'm gonna do escape and escape again, press N. I'm just gonna call this example feature branch and press enter and that'll create it and move me into that branch as well. And I'm gonna exit with control C, open NeoVim again, and I'm gonna change this console.log to hello from example feature branch. I'm gonna save exit NeoVim, open up LazyGit. I'm gonna do A to stage all, press C to create a commit for my changes. And I'm gonna call this example feature branch commit. And I wanna show you guys how to resolve a merge conflict. So I'm gonna press three, go down to main, press space to change into it, close LazyGit with control C, open up NeoVim, and I'm gonna change this to hello from main branch. And this is the same line that we modified in our example feature branch. I'm gonna save this, close NeoVim, open LazyGit again, press A to stage all, press C to create a new commit. I'm gonna call this example commit from main branch. Now I'm gonna go to pane three, do question mark, forward slash and look for merge. And as you can see here, we can use capital M to do a merge. I wanna merge my example feature branch. So I'm gonna go down to example feature branch and press shift M and enter. And as you can see here, we have a conflict. We can view conflicts by pressing enter. I'm gonna go down here to page dots felt, which is where we have the conflict, press enter. Now if I do question mark, you can see here that we can use space to select the current hunk, B to pick all hunks, use up and down to go through the hunks, and left and right to go through the different conflicts. So I can do up and down here to go through the different options. These are the different hunks. You can use B to select all of them. I want hello from example feature branch. So I'm gonna go down to it here. Again, you can do this with J and K or down and up arrows. And if I wanna select this one, I can do space. Now, as you can see here, it says all merge conflicts resolved. You can press enter to continue. And we're done. We've resolved the merge conflict and successfully merged our feature branch with the main branch. Now another convenient thing I want to mention is that whenever you're in a panel here, let's say you're in number three and you want to look for a specific branch, again you can use the forward slash to filter through it. Say I want to look for an example and it'll filter the branches to the example feature branch. If you want to exit this mode, you can press escape. And also you can press enter to see more information on whatever you're hovering. So if I'm over this example feature branch, I can press enter to see all of the commits within that branch and you can go back with escape. If I'm over here in the commits, pane four, and I go down here to one of the commits and press enter, I can navigate through the specific files of that commit and press escape to go back.
Now there's a lot more stuff that you can do with Lazy Git. The repository has a lot of different examples on more of the advanced features. I just wanted to give you guys a general overview on how it works, how to get started with it, and show you guys how straightforward it is to reason through. The best way to find out how to do what you need to do is to just start using it and make use of the question mark and the filtering feature with forward slash to look for the specific action you want to take. Before I finish though, I want to show you guys how to easily integrate LazyGit with NeoVim, which is the workflow that I use and it's been really amazing for me. I'm going to close LazyGit with Control C and I'm going to navigate to my home directory slash dot config slash nvim and press enter and open up NeoVim to open up my NeoVim configuration. Open the file explorer, go down here to Lua. Hosian plugins, and you'll see here that I have a file for LazyGit. I'm gonna open this up. This is all you need. Over here I have the short plugin URL for LazyGit. All of these commands will lazy load the plugin. It has Planary as a dependency, and I've registered this key map so that I can use space LG to open up LazyGit within NeoVim. If I close NeoVim, and I go back to my Svelte Kit blog, and open up NeoVim. Now I can use space LG and that will open up LazyGit within NeoVim, which is really convenient. To close LazyGit within NeoVim, you can press Q or you can do Control C. Now it'll have all of the same functionality as before, but I don't have to switch between LazyGit and NeoVim all of the time. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it interesting and helpful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or feedback for me. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more content like this from me. See you guys in the next one. Peace.